I'm pretty sure most of us have seen an iceberg video, but I'm gonna explain it. Anyways, uh, basically the top of the iceberg is the most known stuff that pretty much everybody talks about and things of that nature. And as you get down each level, it gets to less and less known stuff. And at the bottom, it's where it's more so the most interesting topics as well as being the least known topics as well. I decided to make it solely based on Tower Defense Simulator and not in Roblox in general. Maybe I'll do that later on, but for now, TDS is what I chose. Anyways, enough talk. Time for the taste test. On the tip of the iceberg is the John Tower Remove. This is a very iconic tower for Tower Defense Simulator back in 2019 to 2020, when in the first start of the game, many players were playing TDS just because solely of the John Tower. So it was replaced by the Militant Tower and it did not receive good reception as the Rage ability was removed. This tower remains to be one of the most controversial towers in TDS. Things like Mark V and Monster are admin exclusive only or dev, whatever you want to call it. Mark has actually been in hype since 2019 and it has not been publicly released. Yet a Rolex toy was released before the actual tower in game could be given to players. As for the monster, it was a scrap project kind of. It was supposed to be used in the Frost Invasion event, but it never worked out due to bugs and there wasn't enough time. Below the surface is the things that were talked about a lot at once, but have since calmed down. Time to revisit those, the first one being Golden Mode. It was a playable game mode back then that would be eventually replaced by Fallen Mode. The gimmick of this game mode was that there were a bunch of golden zombies, whatever you want to call them, and they were very resistant to explosive towers, which made them quite useless. It was featured in a trailer as well, and this was one of the most iconic game modes for Tower Defense Simulator. It remains unknown to this day on why exactly it was scrapped and replaced by Fallen Mode. I made a video regarding Remove Zombies and since then it has calmed down, but Remove Zombies aren't actually removed from the game, they are just made not for public use. You can't access them as a normal player, but with admin commands, you can still spawn in these zombies, and for the most part they work as intended. However, there are a few zombies that are truly removed from the game and they will never see the light again, unless Below Natural decides to re-add them back. The hardcore update fell was one of the biggest flops that Tower Defense Simulator has seen. It did get well positive reception at first as a hype whoop was massive, reaching at an all time player count with over 100,000 players at once. But it quickly fell due to Roblox server problems such as not teleporting players correctly or the event wouldn't actually load so players were teleported and there was nothing really going on or just a black screen. Not only that, but the game mode was in beta so you wouldn't actually get any data save for playing it and it wasn't exactly balanced and there were still bugs to be seen in game. This was even after the update had been pushed back and delayed, it still had problems. This remains to be one of the biggest failures that Tower Defense Simulator has ever done. The TDS Skull project wasn't made to be a game, it was made to get graded by the teacher that Below Natural was taking a class for. Below asked me to make a video on the game and conveniently it was done before the teacher was able to grade it, so I assume he got a few bonus points because of that. After the video as well as the grade, the game would slowly creep up in players as it would go from 60 players playing at once to 488 and slowly go up each week to eventually what the player count is today. We are now at the bottom of the iceberg. Unfinished towers, there are many that fit into this category and unfortunately have been hyped but have never seen the light. We have the engineer tower that was supposed to deploy sentries and have a handgun, which is seen in the trailer, but that trailer is about a year old and it has not seen an update yet. 
besides this Roblox toy. There was also the hacker tower that was teased in a screenshot, but visuals of it of in-game have never been confirmed, nor even at the developer side. The Mark Tower would also fit into this category as it is in-game for admin use only. Tower Defense Simulator X Arsenal was announced on May 12, 2020 by Below Natural saying, get ready to get locked and loaded. Arsenal XTS collab coming soon. It has been about a year and a half and we have never heard of this since. And it remains unknown when this collab will occur. On June the 10th, 2019, in the Tower Defense Simulator Discord within the subtext General, Below Natural, the owner of Tower Defense Simulator, posted this image with no context in particular. It is the owner of Tower Bowls, Planet Earth holding a golden minigunner. However, this picture of Planet Earth is not only shirtless, but particularly buff. I did a quick Google image search to see if there were other photos of this and it seems that Below Natural has the original photo. It is unknown whether or not Below Natural made that model of Planet Earth or some other individual made that image and he just so happened to take a screenshot of it. Error Buster King, or Error Buster, or the most common name for it, Awakened Fallen King, was first seen on September 30th, 2020, with this badge being released. The description reads, Something doesn't seem right here. How did I get here? Who are you? Why are you here? On October 2nd, a user with the name SuperRace56 made a post on the Tower Defense Simulator wiki titled Error Buster Theory. The thesis states, so y'all know this epic new badge got added yesterday, right? I think it has something to do with hardcore. Maybe like a hardcore hidden wave that functions similar to the normal HW. Or it could do something with the runes in the hardcore lobby. Enter memes here said that we might be finding the question mark guy during the live event. What are your thoughts on this? In this thesis, he states that it could do something with the runes in the hardcore lobby, which refer to these symbols, which was explained by Just Harrison nearly a month later, on October 31st, 2020. In the Tower Defense Simulator Discord, the user ZU08 was the first to ever mention Awakened Fallen King, stating that he has 195,000 health. This is the first confirmation of the Awakened Fallen King as the health pool matched exactly what was seen across multiple screenshots and videos. On that exact same day, a user by the name of Nerfboy1515 stated, I play with Disquid. He spawned in the Awakened Fallen King. At this particular time, I could find no image or anything visual to confirm its actual presence. If there was visual proof of it, it might have been deleted or taken down by a TDS moderator in the Discord. On November 17, 2020, a YouTuber by the name of Jordan Stiet uploaded a video titled Tower Defense Simulator Ever Buster Theory and within this video showed the first ever visual proof of the Awakened Fallen King, very low quality but readable, stating it, it had 195,000 health, which matches the exact health stated by ZUS08. There is a strong possibility that at the time, no admin or developer was allowed to publicly leak this Awakened Fallen King entity, which could explain the extremely low quality photo of the Awakened Fallen King leaked on November 17, 2020. 13 days later, on November 30th, 2020, the user, Dr. T, uploaded a video titled John Arbuckle vs. Awakened Fallen King, which showcased the Awakened Fallen King with actual video proof. In the leaderboard, we can see Little Disquid right next to Nerfboy1515, confirming his statement as well being true. 
On January 1st, 2021, a user with the name of 0M underscore CK uploaded a video called Awakened Fallen King Spawned by an Admin Tower Defense Simulator. And in the video is only a screenshot of the Awakened Fallen King. What we can see in the chat is Pedro Mendez, a former admin, stating a bunch of admin commands. It is believed to be that this person, Pedro, leaked the Awakened Fallen King at this particular time. There is no reliable or traceable video evidence of this particular scene. On April 30th, 2021, a user, Just Harrison, uploaded a video titled The Ultimate Admin Abuse Video, which shows a much more clear quality picture of the Awakened Fallen King, this time with 210,000 health. This was also spawned in by the user actually hydrated who is an admin. There are no videos where I have seen a normal player play with the Awakened Fallen King without an admin being present in the server. It is more than likely an admin exclusive unit that can only be spawned in by an admin. It is safe to assume that after these videos, Hydrated, Pedro, and Disquit all got their spawny permissions removed. Razutex nor below natural never confirmed or denied the presence of the Awakened Fallen King. The tower defense simulator lobby incident is one of the biggest disasters to occur in the lobby. On June 21st, 2019, this screenshot taken by Eggplant shows the old tower defense simulator lobby before you choose a game. And in the middle of the screenshot shows what is more than likely to be a Bell AH-1Z Viper attack helicopter. This photo you are seeing are the last moments of eggplants in this particular server. It is rumored that this particular helicopter seated both Beef Chopless and Biscuit Turtle Kid. One in a gunner seat and one in a pilot seat. As they took off and hovered on the ground, they began shooting the entire lobby with its powerful turret and main Hellfire missiles. No video or picture has ever surfaced to prove these claims are real. It is all just a theory. Until Ninja Star's brother took this screenshot where it shows the exact same helicopter in the air with an explosion on the ground more than likely deployed by the attack helicopter. We can also see on the left side of the screen players screaming in panic with full caps lock saying who killed me and you just got exploded. This particular screenshot may be the only screenshot that shows the tragic TDS lobby incident. I uh, didn't narrate this one because there's only one screenshot, but there's Vazitex with the same helicopter. He's he's probably he's probably killing the players in there, man.